I'm sitting on the edge of my seat, not out of anticipation, but because I really wanted to get the tree in the shot. Oh, right, okay. Let's just pop you up a bit. Ah, well, what do we think about that? Can we zoom in a little? Nope, 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 right. It's not a zooming lens. All right, well, let's do an old school. I have no idea if this is filming. I don't know if the audio is working. I have a new mic. I'm using the big camera with a lens I've never used before that I've owned for like eight months. And this is, I'm trying, if I don't use this camera in the next month of filming, I'm sell, selling it because it's just too expensive and too nice of a camera. And I've just been too afraid to use it. So this is a little bit of a last minute decision, obviously. It also is not yet four and it's almost pitch black outside. <laughs> and I did not account for the timing, but I was already ready. And I don't, I don't get like ready very often. And I just, I'm like I'm gonna film it and it probably is gonna be a complete fail, but at least I will have tried. I'm gonna do um, what you could use as a holiday gift guide. And that these would be gifts that I would, you know, suggest, I suppose. I'm kind of thinking of it as a 2021 favorites also, but let's be honest, I wouldn't suggest a gift that wasn't a personal favorite anyway. Uh, so we're gonna do that, and we're gonna try with the darkness and the microphone and the camera and the lens, I have no clue what I'm doing, and we're just gonna go for it, kind of old school style video. I've gotten so many requests for this, and I was like, well, why not? So there is a I don't know, there is some rhyme and reason to this. I don't really know what it is, but there probably is some. I'm just gonna share things as I have them laid out. And pretty much all of these things are gender neutral. So just take that as you will. First and foremost, the Lululemon Everywhere belt bag. This little, this little friend has been a true friend, like a real friend. I have loved this so much this year. It's great for travel. I use it as my everyday bag because I just don't carry a whole lot of stuff unless I'm gonna have like a whole day outing with the kids, in which case I bring like my whole kit and caboodle for them, which is like a, a backpack style thing. But I just love this and I even wear it. <laughs> I don't wear it around my hips so much. I do when I'm traveling, especially like airport or on the trail or anything. But for everyday use, I wear it like this. I think this is what the, the cool kids do. I don't know, I'm not cool. Or a kid. Or anywhere remotely close to any of those things. But it's just so handy if it's my phone, if it's my wallet, if it's my vaccination card. It has cute little pockets on the inside, little mesh dividers, three little mesh pockets. And it has a zip pocket on the back, which I usually keep a spare mask in. But if you were in a place where you were nervous and wanted your money even closer to your person or your phone or whatever is the most precious thing to you. It's just the best. I take it everywhere and it is so versatile. It's a really nice quality. Lululemon has been one of my favorite brands for as long as I can remember. It um, cleans up really well and comes in like a dozen different colors. So yeah, man, woman, I think anybody can use that bag. I have been exploring different brands of athletic wear, specifically for outdoor adventures. And one of the brands that I've really fallen in love with this year is Icebreaker. They are a merino wool company, and there's just a lot of science around wearing wool for um, sweat wicking and <laughs> odor control and just performance in general. And I can attest to that, because I've worn merino wool, the icebreaker specifically merino wool, through all sorts of conditions and all sorts of things. It's now, I don't know if this is TMI, my absolute favorite underwear. Did not think I'd be wearing wool underwear and it's not what you think it is. It's like normal underwear, but it is just the best and I love it. This is an item I would love to give or receive as a gift because it's just versatile. It's not necessarily just for outdoor activities. You can wear a puffy vest any time of year, but this is a puffy vest that's unique in that it's got a merino wool lining and batting in it. So it is versatile. I always thought merino wool would be like hot and itchy and awful. It's just so versatile. It really adapts well to a variety of conditions. It can be breathable, it can be um, insulating, it can be all those things. And it really just is kind of a miracle thing. Um, this is the Collingwood Vest. 
And I recommend stalking the Icebreaker website for when they put things on sale because their items are on the pricier side, but they're extremely well-made, high quality. I got this on clearance and I saved, I don't know, 30 to 40% on it. And I highly recommend, like I said, you just never know when they're gonna put something on sale. And the vest is just a nice piece for really anybody. And I wore mine in the summer on treks. It was great on the mountain. I wore it this fall a ton on the trail and I can see myself wearing it well into winter and spring as well. Okay, I have a few tech related things that are also, it could be travel-ish, but not necessarily just for travel. Uh, the Sony noise canceling headphones. Sony, I love Sony products. They're great, but they do not do naming of things. <laughs> great if you're a content creator, because they're always these like really complicated long names that are just like letter a combination of letters and numbers. So I'm gonna read this to you. These are the WH-1000 X M Y. Is that right? I can't even read my handwriting. I don't know. I'll have a link below, but long story short, they are over the ear style no noise canceling headphones. I have used Bose for years. Bose are great, but my last Bose, which I had for, I don't know, five, six years, they finally kicked the bucket and I wanted something new and I went for these. These are even more comfortable. They're just as effective for noise canceling. I love, for me as a, as a video editor, I like having the cord in option because while they do connect great via Bluetooth, if you um, edit video with you know audio, there's a delay, even if it's just a tiny fraction of a second of delay. Um, over Bluetooth, it can affect the, the video to make it just not be right. Um, so whenever I edit with these, and that's primarily what I use them for, I plug them in with the cord they come with right to my computer because then I know I'm getting real time, no lag audio. Um, but the lag over Bluetooth is just so minuscule for anything else that it, it's, it's fine. And did I mention they're comfortable? I find that over the ear headphones, even ones like marketed to be really comfortable, just sometimes aren't, and they give me a headache. I like can't wear headbands, <laughs> such a delicate flower. <laughs> uh, but these are great. They've been my best friend for editing since I purchased them, and one of my top picks of the year for sure. Another gadget that I now could not travel without because it is my security blanket, essentially, on the trail or on the go, wherever, as I tend to travel solo and want to stay in touch, but also choose to places that don't always have a lot of cell service, um, you know, accessibility in that way. The Garmin InReach Mini is a GPS tracker and it works via satellite and it works via a kind of satellite technology that is way over my head, but it is very, very effective and very safe. Now I choose to pay a monthly subscription fee for this that um, in turn gives me a lot of benefits, um, including emergency services, there's a handy SOS button on there, to essentially anywhere in the world I would travel. There's only a handful of countries that don't allow this kind of satellite technology, and they're not countries that at this time I would feel called to travel anyway, because they wouldn't be the safest for me. Um, but SOS button, it's, you know, it tracks you if you're interested in things like elevation and your pace and whatever, things like that, that any Garmin, a watch or anything would, like that would do. But this is amazing because it can track you in the most remote places and it will send your data to anybody you choose to on a 10 minute um, delay. And I can also send messages to my family and friends through it, if I, especially like if I don't have service and I wanna to touch base and let people know I'm okay or whatever, that I've arrived at my destination, I can use this. It, it syncs up with my phone via Bluetooth so I don't have to like try to type on this thing, which can be difficult because you're toggling through a small menu button <laughs> selection. Uh, but you can use your phone to write out messages and send it via Bluetooth and you don't need cell service to use Bluetooth to this, which will use satellite to send your message out. And that's why it is worth it to me. It gives me such peace of mind wherever I go. And that SOS button is just 
it's worth the price of admission and then some. For my fellow fitness enthusiasts, this is a very recent purchase for me and I've been holding out on this forever. My physical therapist has been telling me to get one of these for over a year and I've just been like, man, well, man, well whatever. I finally bit the, bit the bullet and I got it. And I don't know why I held out for so long. It's a Theragun. I opted for the Theragun Mini because I do want to be able to bring it with me. This looks ridiculous, right? It, it, it is kind of ridiculous, but it is magic. I don't know what this thing is. There's a lot of technology, again, science technology that goes into this. Whatever it is, I will tell you that it is effective. I have had so many issues structurally with my feet that cause all sorts of aches and pains and sometimes injuries in my leg, my like lower body, just out of instability from structural issues in my feet that I have absolutely no control over or ability to fix. And this keeps me healthy, it's been keeping me healthy and I've been doing some very intense physical things which you will learn about very soon. But um, yeah, love it. I, if you're on the fence about something like this, it's a great thing to ask for. The mini is a little more, less expensive. It doesn't come with all the attachments that the regular one does. I honestly don't think you need more than just a single attachment. It packs a punch. I use it pretty much every time I run, um, every day, like it, on my legs afterwards, and it just helps me recover so much faster. I have noticed an immediate difference with it, and now I'm so glad that I bought the mini because I'm not traveling without it unless it's unfeasible to carry it with me. Unfeasible? Infeasible? I'm not sure. We're losing light, so we're gonna speed this up. Okay, we're gonna shift gears a little bit to some home items that I've been absolutely loving this year and beyond. Something new to my home this year is the, it's, I think it's called a gooseneck electric kettle. It's by Fellow. It's the Stag Gooseneck Electric Kettle. I have to be honest. I mainly wanted this because of aesthetics. It is just so beautiful and it fits so seamlessly in with the design of my kitchen. The second reason I bought it was because I wanted a gooseneck for making pour over coffee, which I got really into at the beginning of this year. And I can attest that a gooseneck um, is great for that, it's ideal. It's also a variable temperature kettle, so you can set it to any temperature. I use it to make my green tea, I use it to make my coffee. I do still have and love my Breville One Touch Tea Maker, but that is a very specific machine for tea people. Whereas something as simple as an electric kettle that can be set to variable temperatures can apply to a variety of different people. Coffee lovers, tea lovers, hot chocolate folks. It just, it's great and it's beautiful and I love it and I think it's a gorgeous gift. I think it's a it's really generous, beautiful wedding gift or housewarming gift. It's just primo. It's very likely that this was in my gift guide last year. I cannot remember, so I apologize if it's a duplicate, but if it is, it's not that sorry because it's just such a wonderful thing. I think it's a great gift for anybody. You wanna pair it up with your favorite coffee, your favorite tea, your favorite gooseneck electric kettle, whatever. It's the Hydro Flask coffee mug. I take this with me whenever I'm traveling somewhere by car, I bring it. Whenever I want to take coffee to go on a walk with Winnie, just out, you know, out the door of my house, I take this. If I want to have a cup of something hot in the car, I will take this. Um, I love that it has a handle. I have several other really nice um, tumbler style, um, what do we call them? like flasks, is that what they call them? You know, to taking your coffee or tea on the go, which are great and fit so nicely in the cup holder of the car, whatever. I really just love a handle on a mug. I do. And now I noticed at my local Whole Foods the other day, they have all these different colors. They have like pur like this eggplanty purple and this beautiful navy and a light blue and a dark green. and So color for everybody and it's just the best. I find it really does keep my beverage at temperature for a long time. It's easy to drink out of. I don't find a lot of like weird, like even with the lid on, you know how sometimes the lids on tumblers, they just kind of like do weird things when you're trying to drink out of them. This works great. And it's just a very versatile, um, accessible gift. So you know I always have to talk about a sweet treat when I talk about holiday, um, you know, gift guide or whatever uh, recommendations. I thought this was a nice segue here to, I'm sure I've talked about 
this brand ad nauseum, but here we go again. Ritual chocolate, the best chocolate I've ever had made in the US. It's the best. It's local to a place near and dear in my heart, Park City in Utah. They now have their factory in Heber, also very near and dear to my heart. And they've just expanded beautifully and it's just the best. Now this is like really high quality dark chocolate. So it's not gonna taste like Hershey's. If you really love something like super milky, super sweet, this might not suit your fancy. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just wanna give a little disclaimer. But it's just so good. I, I pulled out a few of my favorite bars to show you. The Mid Mountain Blend is their signature blend. They've won awards for this. I would start there. My two favorite and a specialty bars are the S'mores bar and the Fleur de Sel. This is probably my number one favorite bar that they make, the Fleur de Sel. Um, it's salt. It's a sea salt chocolate bar, and it is fan freaking tastic. They have lovely gift sets you can buy. Um, this is the Mountain Lion co Collection, and it comes with just a beautiful array of bars, but then they have the whole library. You can buy the whole lineup. That's a sweet gift if you really want to spoil somebody. Um, and then they also have some smaller sets, I believe. Their drinking chocolate is my favorite. Again, this is pretty dark chocolate. I mean, it's the same as the bar, but it's just chopped up so fine. So it makes the, it's like drinking liquid chocolate is what it is. I'm sure that's the definition of hot chocolate. But this is, this ain't your regular powder mix from Swiss Miss or whatever. Again, not to throw shade, my kids love Swiss Miss and I'm all for it, but if you want something really, really luxurious, I highly recommend this. I heat mine up in full fat oat milk, use an air whisker, air whisk, air whisker? An air, like a frother, there it is. And it just fluffs up beautifully and it's so decadent. They have different varieties. The Mid Mountain's a great place to start. I'm not sure if they are sold out of this yet or not, but they release a special limited edition holiday one. I think this is the second year they're doing it. The Fireside Cocoa that has, it's a delicate hint of holiday spices. This is my favorite. It's the best. It's so good. Such a beautiful gift for you or your loved ones. The gift of chocolate, I think, is one of the best gifts. Since we're kind of going in the homey area here, you know, everybody loves a good candle. Maybe not everybody, but most people think that that's a pretty good gift, especially at the holidays if you're visiting, family or friends, a nice hostess gift. This is a local company. They are located in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and it is the Kalamazoo Candle Company. Again, I can't remember if I talked about them last year. I might have. They're my favorite. The bal balsam and cedar, so good. I'm currently burning the gingerbread, which is my favorite kind of fall one. So good, I highly recommend. Oh, highly recommend. And they're just so nice. They burn so clean. They have such a nice throw. It's not in your face, but it's, def it's not like non-existent. You know how sometimes you smell a candy, you're like, oh, I can't wait to burn that. And then you burn it and you're like, I don't smell this. <laughs> this is not that. It's not overwhelming though, which I, which I personally prefer. I know for a fact I have spoken about my next recommendation many times, but they bear repeating. Pacha, the best for bath bombs. I think they call them froth bombs at their company. It's the same thing. I can't, they're just the best. They're just the best. So that's why I keep bringing them up. I think they're just the most beautiful Beautiful gift is like, give the gift of a luxurious bath because this is luxury. You know, you're paying what, five, six dollars for a bath, essentially, in addition to, you know, the water. But it is so luxurious to and pamper yourself with a beautiful bath like that. And what a beautiful way to pamper a loved one. Um, these are a couple of the Fall ones, I don't know, I don't have any of their winter ones at the moment, but they do have kind of like seasonal special ones. I, they have one that's kind of like, looks like a little tree. But this is the Farmhouse Cider and the Golden Chai, two of my standbys every year that I purchase. One of my absolute year-round favorites is the Birch Muscle. I pull this out when I'm feeling extra achy. And my absolute 100% favorite from them is their CBD 
bath bomb, but um, it's been out of stock for a long time. So I don't know when that's coming back, but that, I, w I did not jump on the CBD bandwagon until I tried that bath bomb. And now I'm like, yes. And that's how I enjoy CBD is with CBD baths. It's like, it really does work. It makes you feel so relaxed. So I, that's my secret weapon whenever I'm like way deep in my anxiety or stress or you know, whatever, I'm like wigging out. <laughs> then I do a CBD bath and I just feel right as rain. Another favorite, and this has been a favorite for longer than this year, but they've been expanding their line and I just love every product that they have come out with. And it is the Moon and Rock skincare line. This is my jam. This is pure ingredients, um, thoughtfully combined, processed as organically as possible and mindfully as possible to reduce impact and they just, my skin loves this stuff. I use these every day here or wherever I am. I take them with me. My number one favorite from them is the Universal Face Serum. This is essentially an oil. I use this on my face twice a day. That's the last step. Um, the first step I use after cleansing, I really hope they come out with their own um, like cleansing bar because I would love that. I still use the Drunk Elephant cleansing bars if you're curious. That's the only Drunk Elephant products I still use. I love that brand, it's great. Uh, but these have just been better for my skin lately. Um, the Hyaluronic Acid Serum is beautiful. Beautiful, I use that twice a day too. And then I alternate day and night between the Retinol Rose Serum. This is new to my routine. I do that at night. And the Vitamin C Skin Food, I do this in the morning. And it's a vitamin C, obviously, it's a vitamin C treatment. Uh, but honestly, if I have just did the Face Serum and the Hyaluronic Acid Serum, that's all I really need. And that, that's honestly all I really travel with. I don't bring the other, the other serums with me usually. Those are just at-home things. Um, and my skin does fine. They're just kind of like added beautiful things that are great. In recent years, I tend to pick jewelry pieces that I wear just all the time. And one of the latest additions to my collection is this gorgeous cuff bracelet. Cannot remember now off the top of my head, I did not write down which exact one it is, but I will link it below. And I know I'm not gonna say her name right, and I spent a half an hour trying to find her say her name, and I could not find it. <laughs> so I apologize so much in advance if I'm butchering this beautiful, beautiful soul's name, but Jona Jensen. It's spelled like Jona Jensen, but she is Swedish, so I believe the J is a soft, you know, it's more of like a Y, so Jona Jensen. She makes gorgeous handmade silver jewelry in her studio in Sweden. Her partner is actually a silversmith, and he, makes all the pieces by hand and she has a hand in it too and I believe her mother also contributes and she has built this whole team and is really building up the business and it's beautiful and this, I think this is called New Beginning, is that it? I remember it felt very symbolic when I bought it um, but it's just the most beautiful jewelry. I have worn this through all of my trips like through rain and shine and snow and rocks and all the things and it's held up beautifully and it's just gorgeous jewelry. If you want something really purposely made with love and care and just lots of beautiful energy and supporting a really beautiful soul. I love her content, I love her art, I love her photography. I think she is just such a beautiful soul and she makes the most beautiful jewelry. Couple last things. I'm pretty sure I've talked about these at least in past journal, notebook, bullet journal kinds of videos, but the Archer and Olive notebooks, I love them. I have been using them for a couple years now. I use one as my personal journal and one as my bullet journal. To be honest, I have not been bullet journaling this year really at all or much of last year either, but I hope to get back into it with the new year. Um, they've just released this um, really interesting new cover. They, they used to, all of their notebooks used to just be in this kind of linen-y co cover, which is beautiful, but very, can be a little bit delicate and show wear and tear. And now they've released this, it's almost like suede-like. It's not leather, it's not, it's, I believe it's 
vegan, whatever it is. It seems a bit more durable. And I just love them. It's the most beautiful paper. They have dot grid, which I prefer. They have line. I'm not sure if they have grid grid and if they have blank, but um, they have a variety of different kinds of papers, craft paper, blackout paper. Uh, it, they're just such nice notebooks, and I think it's a lovely gift to give somebody a notebook. I mean, if you're a paper person, you know, there's just nothing quite like a fresh, a fresh notebook, a beautiful notebook. And those are, you know, on the pricier side, they are really nice quality, and I can attest to that. They lay flat so beautifully, and I love them for that. And the paper, like I said, is just gorgeous. So it is a nicer notebook in that way, and can be a little bit pricier, so I think it makes for a nice little luxury, if you will, to throw it back. And then last but not least, I wanted to share these books. I think an unreally beautiful book is a nice gift to give, but it has to be the right kind of book for the right kind of person. This is a book I would give, give as a gift to a lot of different kinds of people in my life. And two, two books, same author, Morgan Harper Nichols, one of my favorite Instagram accounts I follow. I love her podcast as well and her artwork and her books just kind of encapsulate all of that. They are beautiful books with her gorgeous words that really just speak to your heart. I find they speak to my heart no matter what stage I'm in and they're just beautiful. She has two so far. She has a third one coming out in February which I'm very excited for but All Along You Were Blooming was her first one. How Far You Have Come is her second. And I couldn't recommend them more. They just are gorgeous. And again, I think they would make beautiful gifts. And now it's really dark out, like super dark. It's nighttime. So I don't know how this experiment went. Um, hopefully the video turned out. If not, you'll not know because you won't be seeing it. I hope you enjoyed this look at some of my favorite products from 2021. Maybe it gave you some gift ideas for people in your life or maybe, you know, gifts for yourself, which I think is great. I hope that you are well. I'm wishing you all a healthy and happy and joyful and peaceful holiday season as much as you can, as much as we all can have those things. And um, I'm sending you so, so much love. And I'll be back to sharing my adventures real soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. Oh my God, my leg fell asleep. Oh dear, and it all comes crashing down.